Cruising is fun, but it's also fun when you get off the ship in the port. So first things first, you have to scan out. This is the cruise line's way of knowing who has been on and off the ship. This little ramp, it's called the gangway. On large cruise ships, sometimes you'll see two or three of them. One may be at the midship, one at the forward, and one at the aft. In the cruising world, the aft of the ship is towards the back of the ship. In other boating terms, you may refer to this area as the stern. Hi, it's Cruz and Jules, and we're in the port of La Spezia today. La Spezia is in Italy, and this cruise port would be good if you want to go see the Leaning Tower of Pisa, Florence, or the little seaside towns of Cinque Terre. We were fortunate enough to be able to visit both Florence and Cinque Terre because the ship was docked there overnight. That's one rarity when you go cruising. Usually a cruise ship will dock in a port for the day and then you're sailing at night. But in this case, we got to dock overnight so we can experience both nearby areas. In Lespezia, you will walk through this building and you have two options. One option is you catch a shuttle bus to the left and those are for the shore excursions that are pre-arranged with the cruise ship and then you go to the right if you do not have a cruise ship excursion. These shuttles are mandatory. In our case, the shuttles were running from 7 a.m. to midnight. There is no fee to use this shuttle bus. This will take us to the passenger cruise terminal, which is more in town. Now, the reason why we have to take this is because it's a commercial port. You're going to see when we do the U-turn here that there's gonna be shipping containers. Oh, by the way, this is a luxury cruise ship right here. It's the Seven Seas Grandeur. They'll be docked here for the day, but they're doing a different itinerary. It's been two minutes, six seconds. Let's do a little experiment. Let's see how long it takes for this bus to get from one end of the ship to the other end. So you could see that it is quite a long ship. Can you imagine walking this? I don't know how many minutes it takes, but it's one way to stay in shape. When you're on board, if your cabin's at the front of the ship and you want to eat at the back of the ship at the buffet, it's going to take you maybe five minutes to get there. So that's good because it keeps you fit. All right, we're still not quite at the end yet. Oh, we're almost there. And three, two, one. So it's two minutes, 46 seconds now. It took 30 seconds just by the bus to get from one end to the other end. So another point of this video is to show you what the passenger terminal looks like once we get there. You're going to find out that there's different places that you could go and arrange tours. So uh, we pre-booked ours. It's probably a good idea to book something in advance if you really want to do it. Transportation could be limited. However, there are options once you get to the terminal if you didn't make a plan. You can also go out independently and do your own thing. You can take a train to different areas. So you could take the train to Cinque Terre. You could take a train into Florence. It's just you have to make way from the passenger terminal into town, into the train station. It is walkable. If you want to buy some time, maybe consider taking a taxi. The other thing too is you probably want to make your decision based on the weather. If it's super hot and it's the middle of the summer, you might not want to walk to the train station. Lespezia is a little seaside town. Let's talk about the language here. Lespezia is in Italy, so naturally most of the people that you're going to encounter in the cruise port and in the town are going to speak Italian. Many do speak English. I had no problem communicating with people. They are really set up for tourism. So there were two ships in port today. One was the Celebrity Equinox. The other one was the Seven Seas Grandeur. Both of these cruise lines do cater to the North American clientele. There are international guests, of course, but the predominant language on board is English. Therefore, if you're booking a cruise ship excursion through the cruise lines directly, you're going to be getting your guide in English. Now, sometimes they do offer excursions in other languages when they're targeting a certain group. They'll know ahead of time how many people are sailing from a certain country or their preferred language for communication. Generally, if a tour does operate in a language other than English, they're going to separate the groups. If you want to pre-book your own excursion through an independent tour company, 
make sure that the tour is running in English. And you may also want to ask if the tour is running in multiple languages. Maybe that's something that you don't want to do. If you decide to go out on your own, make sure you make it back to the ship in time. The ship will post an all aboard time. Don't be late because the ship won't wait. If you book your shore excursion with the cruise line directly, they do guarantee you back to the ship. So the ship will wait in those cases if the cruise line sponsored tour is running late. Now, if you go with a different operator, that's not the case. Some operators will guarantee you back to the ship. You'll have to ask them what that guarantee means. So if you are late coming back, do they pay for you to get to the next cruise port? That's a question you have to ask. I do know of some companies that do have a little guarantee to the ship on their website. So that's something to consider. The other thing to consider is in the case of this cruise port where uh, the shuttle's running till midnight, well, chances are you shouldn't be late getting back at midnight because traffic's not going to be very heavy late in the evening. The nice thing about this cruise passenger terminal is they are set up for tourists once you get there by the shuttle bus. So they drop you off, you could go inside, there are washrooms and places to sit, but there's also places where you can pick up tours and we're going to go do a little walkthrough and see what's available. The other nice thing about this building is that it is air conditioned, so if it is in the middle of the summertime and you're waiting for your tour bus to come, you have a cool place to hang out. One of the things I found is that the tours that were offered in this building were priced very fairly. I haven't talked about it much in my videos yet, but one of the things I do like to do in some of the cruise ports is grab a hop on hop off bus. So there is a little hop on hop off here and I didn't realize it until I saw the signage, but it says it stops at the train station. It is set up like a little mini train tram. It's not one of the double decker buses. The price is inexpensive, 10 euros a person. The full tour shows as 35 minutes long. Now let's move along. If you want to do some boating, you could catch a little boat trip here. Keep in mind there's going to be limited seats. So first come, first serve. There were a few options. Now there is a little information desk on visiting some of the museums. This might be more applicable if you're going to Florence. Let's hop outside now and see what it looks like. You're going to want to exit the cruise terminal and head over to this little area. Oh, there's the little hop on hop off train. By the way, there's another booth I'll show you shortly where there's another hop on hop off bus which is longer. It looks like it's about three hours long, but it also costs more money. Okay, where we're standing now is the taxi area and they were quite frequent. You can see there's a little ledge if you want to sit. Now see this circular structure? This is where you could catch the other hop on hop off. Tickets range from 25 to 30 euros, depending on if you want an all-day pass. And the ports are La Spezia, Poto, Venere, La Ricci. I probably pronounced that wrong. Anyway, this little booth also seems to be selling tickets to the ferry, which probably takes you down to Cinque Terre. That's a wrap on navigating the cruise ship terminal at La Spezia. Have a great day.